Information and Communication Technology that is ICT is a force that has changed many aspects on the way we live. If one was to compare such field as medicine, tourism, travel, business, law, banking, engineering and architecture, the impact of ICT across the past two or three decades has been enormous. Namaskar to all, myself Dr. Yashpal Sharma and in this session we will discuss various ICT initiatives of Ministry of Human Resource Development that is MHRD, Government of India has taken for higher education. Higher education system have grown exponentially in the last five decades to meet the demand of quality education for all. This aspect has further gained momentum due to swift advancements in the information and communication technology. Demand for skilled and competent labor is ever increasing in the contemporary globalized society. In this backdrop, access to quality in higher education for all has emerged as determining factor of economic growth and development. In order to increase the access to higher education and improving its reach to the remotest parts of the country, contribution of open and distance learning facilities is on the increase. In addition, it is catering to lifelong learning aspirations and that too at affordable cost. The last two decades have witnessed the inclusion of developments in ICTs in higher education systems around the world. Even then, the challenge to develop a higher education system that is flexible and dynamic so as to holistically integrate the technology in the management and delivery of learning programs is daunting. The rate at which information technology is growing today is evident from the fact that it has invaded almost every part of our life. Technological progress can be harnessed for augmenting both expansion as well as quality of education. The government of India is keen to use the technological resources in helping its mission to make higher education accessible to all deserving students. In this regard, it has launched its national mission on education through information and communication technology referred to as Anime ICT in 2009 to provide the opportunity for all the teachers and experts in the country to pool their collective wisdom for the benefit of every Indian learner and thereby reducing the digital divide. Under this mission, a proper balance between content generation, research in critical areas related to imparting of education and connectivity for integrating our knowledge with the advancement in other countries was attempted. National Mission on Education through ICT is a landmark initiative of the Ministry of Human Resource Development to address all the education and learning related needs of students, teachers and lifelong learners. In Indian scenario, where there is a vast disparity of educational facilities available in various regions across the country. The mission envisages to bridge a gap by providing just in time quality educational resources and teachers for 20 into 7 to learners, irrespective of their social, economic, and educational status. The National Mission on Education through ICT was launched to leverage the potential of ICT in teaching and learning process. The three cordial principles of the education policy that is assess, equity and quality are being served through three major components of the mission. Under the umbrella of NMEI CT, let's discuss the important initiatives of MHRD Government of India for higher education. The first one is a Sakshat, which is a one-stop education portal. Sakshat is envisaged as one-stop education portal to facilitate lifelong learning to the students, teachers and those in employment are in pursuit of knowledge free of cost to everyone. 
the portal expected to be the main delivery platform for the content developed under the NME ICT. Sakshat integrates all the contents developed under the mission and also provide mission related information to facilitate public security feedback and transparency for the projects undertaken by the missions at different times. National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning that is called NPTEL. NPTEL is a project of MHRD initiated by seven Indian Institute of Technologies that is Bombay, Delhi, Kanpur, Kharagpur, Madras, Gubati and Roorkee along with Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. It was launched in 2003 to provide quality education to anyone interested in learning from the IITs. The main goal was to create web and video courses in all major branches of engineering and physical sciences at the undergraduate and postgraduate level and also the management courses at the postgraduate level. NPTEL is the largest online repository in the world of courses in engineering, basic sciences and selected humanities and social sciences subjects. It is the most accessed library of peer-reviewed educational content in the world. Since 2013, through an online portal, 4, 8 or 12 week of online courses, typically topics relevant to students in all years of higher education along with basic core courses in sciences and humanities with exposure to relevant tools and technologies are being offered. The enrollment to and learning from these courses involves no cost. They are available free of cost to everyone. An in-person proctor certification which is optional will be conducted at rupees 1000 per course and a certificate is provided through the participating institutions and industry when applicable. The next is EPG Partshala. As the name defined PG, it is for postgraduate students. EPG Partshala was an initiative of MHRD under the same national mission on education through ICT was being executed by UGC. The content and its quality being the key component of education system, high quality curriculum based interactive e-content in 70 subjects all across the di disciplines of social sciences, arts, fine arts, humanities, natural and mathematical sciences and also it includes the linguistic and languages having developed by the subject matter expert working in Indian universities and other research and development institutes across the country. Every subject had a team of principal investigators paper coordinators, content writers, content reviewers, language editors and a multimedia team to support the various multimedia content to be used in the papers. The next is the Consortium for Educational Communication which is CEC is the Consortium for Educational Communication which is popularly known as CEC is one of the inter-university centre that is set up by the University Grant Commission. It has been established with the goal of addressing the needs of higher education through the use of powerful medium of television along with the appropriate use of emerging ICT. CEC as an active partner is engaged in generation of e-content courseware for undergraduate subjects under the plan of NME ICT of MHRD. Now let's come to the talk to a teacher. It is also a good initiative by the MHRD. Talk to a teacher developed by IIT Bombay is an initiative of the NME ICT funded by MHRD to provide free access to a few selected graduate and postgraduate courses taught by IIT Bombay by distinguished faculty members and scholars at large. It uses ABU collaboration tool developed by Amrita University for providing virtual classrooms to the faculty across the country. These courses can be viewed 
absolutely free of charge at lower bandwidths on a personal computer or laptop having a headphone and working internet connection. Registration is not required as it does not have any evaluation or certification process. The courses are recorded live in the classrooms of IIT Bombay and may not reflect entire content of the course. Apart from the core courses in engineering and computer science disciplines, the program also covers humanities and social science discipline. More than 80,000 teachers have been trained so far under this project involving synchronous delivery of courses from IIT Bombay and IIT Kharagpur.